what in the universe is my life purpose why did i take birth what did i do in my past life that i was born in this life or what should i do in this life what is my purpose what am i doing in this world so can astrology help me to identify my purpose of life the cause of my birth all right so today we shall discuss some few sutras to find the purpose of our life okay so before i start you have to get rid of one misconception these days you know there is this purpose of life everybody is obsessed with purpose 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 that is very good even the vedic scriptures say that human life has a definite purpose but what this uh, modern headless civilization where this civilization has gone wrong uh, is they have forgotten to enjoy the process while reaching the destination because uh, the vedic idea is totally different the vedic idea says every moment of your life is your purpose actually because the scriptures say that you should focus on your present not on your future or on your past okay yes one should plan for the future because if you do not plan then you are planning to fail <laughs> so we should arrange our life in such a way that we have a better future that's very true but when i say we should not think about the future i mean to say we should not take anxiety okay so one thing is in the past which gives us depression i lost something i lost him her or will i get him or will i get her or will i get a million dollars or will i get this get that so that is anxiety for the future so depression and anxiety both are actually not good so therefore we have to understand that in search of uh, so called purpose we do not forget that we are also having a present so a happy person his or her purpose is in line with uh, what he or she wants in life okay which means what the person is doing now doing doesn't mean career wise overall what the person is doing uh that is harmonious with what the person uh is actually born to do so that actually gives happiness okay so <clears throat> now why do i say this because many times people have this misconception that oh like many times people tell me this is very frequently i've heard i don't know from where this has come you know it's like new in the market <laughs> they tell me that mahatma gandhi was born to give independence to india hmm. and then i asked them a question but he was also a husband right he had a wife he had children most probably he had <laughs> so he he was not just born to uh, drive the british out of india i mean you could say that is his destiny or karma when it comes to society but if you check his personal life then he always had a karma of being a husband and a father he had a karma of being a son to somebody to his parents so therefore we should not restrict uh, our life purpose only to our profession that's the problem these days everybody is thinking that their 10th house is giving them you know some uh, fancy uh, profession or their 10th house is giving you life purpose no no not necessarily that can happen if there are certain combinations but you should not think that your purpose is only uh, in terms of society your purpose can be anywhere you have a purpose in every area of life your purpose is also there in your health how do you keep your health so there you have a purpose you see how you keep your family how you keep your education so every area of life there is a purpose so how do you identify using astrology so this might sound very contradictory uh, to what you have heard so many times you will hear that oh this is my purpose you know gandhi was born to give independence what will i do will i be it engineer will i be astrologer will i be this will i be that well sorry to disappoint you but the purpose keeps changing based on your mahadashas yes now there is one thing which the mahadashas cannot change which means if majority of your planets and yogas are indicating towards one area then that 
that holds true irrespective of any antar dasha or mahadasha. So that, that that means that is like a theme of your life which is uh, always playing around. Okay, but in general, if you want to understand, then you should understand that purpose of life keeps changing when dashas change. So suppose you have a planet, you are uh, twenty five, and then your uh, Mahadasha changes, you get uh, Venus Mahadasha, for example. And suppose, let's take some dummy examples. So suppose Venus is in your seventh house, then uh, you, you may get married that time. And then when you are 45, why 45? Because Venus Mahadasha is 20 years. So 20 plus 25 is 45. So then uh, your son Mahadasha starts. So maybe uh, your son is in the sixth house. <laughs> then suddenly at 45, you become very conscious of work and you are not very interested in your married life. Suddenly that can happen out of nowhere. So, therefore, it's very crucial that we analyze our dashas. If we do not analyze our dashas, then we cannot know what our purpose is, what our focus is. So, the purpose is seen from the overall horoscope, okay? And the focus. So it's like saying, suppose your purpose is you, like I said, for marriage, you have a purpose. For kids, you have a purpose. As children, you have a purpose. As a husband, as a wife, as a dictator, maybe, as a prime minister, as a president, as a leader of your company, as a CEO, you might have a purpose. But when will, which one of these purposes will get, uh, get become active or lively in your life? That the dashas will decide okay so therefore there is no shortcut to finding purpose in life using astrology so that's uh, the crux of the story because you have to analyze the whole whole chart you have to identify where is the flow of the horoscope then you have to see in these mahadashas where is this person focusing okay so if the artha houses are very prominent in somebody's horoscope, which means 2nd, 6th, 10th. And these days, because 11th house is the house of gain, so you can also include the 11th house as an artha house. Okay, If these three houses are prominent, 2nd, 6th, and 10th, then the 11th house also speaks in tone of artha. Okay? Because 11th house is like glass. Whichever house he sits with, he magnifies that. Okay, so if if a person has very prominent artha houses, which means in your bhav chart, okay, not in your lagna chart. <laughs> so many of you are not aware of bhav chart. Bhav chart is the chart where we know where in which house a planet is placed. Okay, so I have made the video on bhav chart. Uh, you will find it at the end of uh, this video. I'll put it somewhere here so that you can see. So please go to the bhav chart video and watch what is bhav chart. Okay. Please do not ask me the same questions again and again. What is bhav chart? What is bhav chart? So if in your bhav chart, majority of your planets are sitting in 2nd, 6th or 10th, then you know that wealth and finances will be an area which is irrespective of your dashas. Okay? Unless it is like very contrary. So it's like, <clears throat> let, let's talk of a super contrary example so suppose you have saturn in fifth and mercury in ninth okay and then you have uh, ketu also in lagna and venus in ninth okay mercury venus in ninth ketu in lagna saturn in fifth so now for god's sake if saturn mahadasha got activated and suppose you have all the other planets all other prominent planets you know sun moon ascended lord now suppose you are a Sagittarius Lagna. So you have Jupiter, Sun, Moon in 2nd, 6th and 10th. Okay, or in the 11th. So then what happens? Now suppose your Saturn Mahadasha starts. Then you will get back to back Saturn, then Mercury. Then you will get Ketu, then you will get Venus. My God, all these four planets are in trines. 1, 5, 9. So then it is like a mismatch. Because then your majority uh, focus of the horoscope is in Artha. But... Because these four planets are there in, uh, in, in trines in your bhav chart, then what happens? Then uh, you, in the Mahadasha, you will be focusing more on the trines. But this uh, Artha house thing will always be at the back of your mind. So your overall focus will always be Artha, but you will try to include some Dharma in that.
सकते सो दैट इज हाउ इट विल हैपन सो इट्स वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इट्स नॉट सो कलयुगा इज द एज ऑफ चीटर्स एंड चीटेड ओके सो डोंट चीट योर सेल्फ एंड डोंट चीट अदर्स ऑल्सो बाय सेइंग थिंग्स ओ लाइक ओ योर लकनेश इज इन सेवन योर पर्पस ऑफ लाइफ इज मैरिज नो 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 नेवर एवर एवर डू दैट लाइक दैट ओके और सपोज योर कामा हाउसेस आर वेरी प्रोमिनेंट सो नाउ इन द प्रीवियस एग्जांपल आई सेड इफ योर सन मून असेंडेंट लॉर्ड दीज थ्री आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू जज समबडीज पर्पस ऑफ लाइफ ओके सो देयरफॉर इफ दीज थ्री आर प्लेस्ड इन द आर्था हाउसेस लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल ओके देन यू नो आर्था इज वेरी प्रोमिनेंट फॉर दिस पर्सन अर्निंग वेल्थ एंड सिक्योरिंग एसेट्स इज वेरी 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 क्रूशियल व्हेन इट कम्स टू दिस पर्सन so then suppose on the other hand he has uh, these saturn mercury venus and ketu in kama houses okay kama houses are the third seventh and eleventh then and saturn mahadasha starts when he is you know 15 then almost whole of his life these kama houses are active in dashas so that means what happens the person's focus is in earning money and saving and accumulating but then the problem is because these kama houses are activated he is always spending the money see and then if 12th house is also linked then it's like bumper expenditure and the other houses which are linked they will tell you uh, what is the expenditure related to okay so if 7th house is there uh, then the person can have a big fat wedding which means lot of expenditure in the wedding if 4th house is there then it can be like too much uh, money spent in property okay so this is how you have to differentiate now very rarely you will find a horoscope that uh suppose it's a capricorn lagna and then saturn is in aquarius then mercury venus is in 10th and you have ketu in the 6th so then what happens and you have suppose sun moon are also in the 11th so then what happens sun saturn and moon these three are most important because it's a capricorn lagna so then the they are sitting in earth houses and because i said uh 11th house will speak in the language of the earth houses if the second sixth and 10th are prominent so then the 11th house also becomes like a artha house okay and then if he gets saturn mahadasha that is like bang on because then he will run saturn mercury ketu venus all are in the artha house so then this person will uh, only focus in earning money and saving money and the person will have lot of wealth and assets okay <coughs> and if you want to <coughs> go one level deep then you can even go deeper so the most wealth giving uh, nakshatra lords are the lord of the 10th house and the 11th house so if a person has majority planets sitting in the nakshatras of the 10th lord and the 11th lord so for example if it's a aries lagna let me simplify it aries lagna 10th lord 11th lord is saturn both are same so which are the nakshatras that saturn rules where do they fall as per your ascendant so saturn rules uh, we know he rules pushya nakshatra then he rules anuradha nakshatra then he rules uttar bhadrapada nakshatra now here's the catch this is level 2 so now the funny thing is these three nakshatras for aries ascendant falls in the 4 8 12 12 axis so now you may think oh but 4 8 12 is moksha house right moksha trikon so maybe moksha is very important for this person that is where you will go wrong because even though uh, the nakshatras are in these houses but because the nakshatra lord rules the 10th and 11th therefore they will pry these planets so suppose somebody has uh, uh, the venus exalted in pisces in uttar bhadrapada nakshatra okay aries lagna in 12th house so then what you will think oh uh, this uh, venus will give uh, moksha houses no 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 never because he is in the nakshatra of saturn which is uttar bhadrapada and he is the 10th lord and the 11th lord so now the second lord is linked with the 10th house and the 11th house so then this will again go towards artha but what is the difference here is the difference this venus mahadasha when he runs because he is also in the 12th house which is also a moksha house this person will love to donate a lot of his money okay so then you have to say for these 20 years your focus will be venusian things earning money and your focus is donations that's it that's your purpose for 20 years yes that's the clear cut answer okay 
So this is how you actually identify what is a person's life focus? What is the person's uh, purpose actually? Why is the person born? Because it will never happen that uh, the person will just give independence to one country and just disappear. It, it never happens. I mean, from from an overall perspective, if you see, it can happen that one area of somebody's life is very, 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 very prominent. And because of that, we may feel that we know only that aspect of the person. Like Mahatma Gandhi, we know that uh, he played a very significant role in uh, giving independence to India. Uh, from the British, so we may know that, but then we don't know what what's going on in his personal. I mean, life we we may know, but we 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 do not know the way we know about his you know uh, exercises with the British, because that's his personal life, and uh, we have uh, we we know about his professional life, right? So therefore, you should be able to identify using nakshatras and houses. So when Whenever the client is asking you when, during the consultation that why am I born? What is my life purpose? Then you should be able to give a direction. Now, it is impossible to tell, oh, your life purpose is to be a carpenter, is to be a painter, is to be a YouTuber. It's not possible to say like that. But you should be able to tell what are the focus areas of this person. Okay. So, for example, if the third house is linked and uh, the tenth house is involved, then it can happen that this Kama house and Artha house is together. So this can mean YouTube or success in YouTube, social media and all this. Okay. And now if the Mahadasa of that planet is active, then you have to tell him that this is your purpose. And again, going back to the first example that the Artha houses are prominent, but the Mahadasa lords are sitting in the uh, Dharma, Dharma Trikon 159. So then what do you do? Well, then you have to tell the person that, sir, although this is something which you want to do, but this will not be able to, uh, you won't be able to achieve this fully because your focus will change during the Mahadashas, okay? Now the Mahadasha cannot, the Mahadashas cannot override the horoscope, which means if a person has a, a very difficult chart, then even if the 10th house gets active, the person cannot make millions of billions it's not possible okay so and on the other side if a person has a very uh, prominent like name fame is there even if the eighth house gets active the person will have defamy of course but the person will still uh, you know like uh, go on a like a big plane or they will have a gold you know gold mobile you know the biggest car in the world because the overall horoscope is like a base okay so that majority of his planets are indicating name and fame and prosperity power position authority so then you know that is fixed nothing can change it but if the, the suppose he has a the south of a planet in eighth house then he will have some defamy and the defamy will also be big because he's already very rich or very prosperous but that doesn't mean he'll become a beggar because his overall horoscope already indicates that he will live like a king. All right. So that is how you have to tell that how you, you, you have to balance between what the overall horoscope is telling and what the dashas are telling. Okay. Because sometimes there can be a conflict. If a person wants to earn too much money and then suddenly, you know, the second, seventh and eleventh house, they get activated. Then the person feels uh, the family is becoming more and more demanding. The spouse and the children are demanding more attention from him or her. Then that can create mental stress because that can inhibit uh, the person's original purpose from earning money. Okay? Or fifth house children or sometimes love, romance, affairs. <laughs> Alright, so that is how you have to know actually. You have to analyze the overall chart and you have to check where is the flow and then you go to the dashas okay so don't uh, believe when people say that oh gandhi was born to give independence no don't believe all this gandhi was born also to be husband uh, father or anybody <laughs> gandhi could have been a great friend to somebody so you will ignore that relationship just because you don't know his friend well that's the problem we just see the professional aspect okay and your purpose has nothing to do with your career. That is the warning which I will give you. It has absolutely nothing. Okay, if 
if if your career has a part or if your purpose is a i mean if your career is a part of the purpose that can happen if the 10000 is involved but not for everybody sometimes people their life focus their purpose is just to be creative and just do things the way they like not to be very business minded or money minded you know same is with the ninth house if the person is too much into spirituality then the person may uh, let, let's talk of youtube so suppose a person is very spiritual and the person likes to spread spiritual knowledge so then if the ninth house is involved then the person may uh, speak about gita or shrimad bhagavatam or if the person is uh, from a islamic background they can speak on quran or christian then the bible but then these things don't get much views you know? that everybody knows because people in kali yuga they are degraded like animals and they are not interested in higher philosophical stuff so therefore the ninth house is 12 from the 10th house because if you are thinking of spiritual stuff all the time then it's difficult to make money all right so your views will be less your channel will go down i mean from a monetary perspective i'm saying from a name fame perspective okay but will the person be happy when he does that that the horoscope will tell all right so you must analyze the entire horoscope and then be able to give an answer which are the prominent areas of focus for the person all right and this if you do not do during a consultation you have simply wasted time all right because uh, the person is still headless the person doesn't know where to go what to do in life the person is like okay tomorrow i will do this after one year this will happen after 10 years this will happen no it doesn't work like that you have to say majority planets are indicating something and then you say okay but when your dashas change your focus will change like this okay so this is how you have to handle not that just oh your lagmesh is in 10 so you will liberate some country from the british or some other you know, some other colonial power so it, it doesn't work like that all right so that is it from my side if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it uh, below and if you want a consultation from me you can always go down to the description section below where you'll find the link to my website and i will give you some other videos to watch here on ascendant and sun moon and i hope you like them god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him